Okay, uh, again, in this section here, we are going to do what's called uh, your road test. And in the road test, we are going to be uh, observing the uh, signs in the road, looking for hazards, um, looking for any kind of obstructions. Uh, we're going to be reading uh, weight limits on bridges, uh, the heights on bridges. We'll do a, a roundabout to show how you do in a roundabout. We'll do some railroad crossings, single tracks, multiple tracks, uh, railroad crossings where you shouldn't cross because of the danger of it. We'll also do uh, emergency pullovers on the side of the road, what we, you have to do in the case of an emergency. Uh, I'll explain all that as we're driving. And this all needs to be done when doing a skills test on the road. So I hope this helps. Stay tuned. Okay, when you're in the neighborhood, it is suggested that you look one city block or a quarter of a mile, looking for any kind of hazards, any pedestrians, children on bicycles, vehicles, whichever. Noticing that the speed limit is 25 miles per hour, I'm going at a safe speed. I will come to the stop sign. I will come to a complete stop behind the stop sign. I will be signaling left. I activate my signal. Looking both ways, left, right, and left. Doing the rock and roll motion. No traffic is coming and I will now turn. Hand over hand on the steering wheel. Okay, we are approaching an intersection. And again, you can see the signs telling you the direction you need to go. The junction highway that we are coming up to. We are going to be taking a right. I will now apply my right hand signal. Noticing that solid white line, that curve, you have to stay on the left side of it. You cannot go over the white line. We are now gonna make a turn once the light turns green. And I will want you to notice my pivot point that I will allow my bus to make a complete turn without touching the solid white line. With your peripheral vision, you wanna notice turn and you're staying in your lane, hand over hand. Okay, uh, passing an intersection here. Again, note that the speed limit is 45 miles per hour and notice that there's a drawbridge a thousand feet ahead of us, giving us fair warning. Uh, make a note that if that drawbridge comes down, you have to stop at least 50 feet before it. Note that the height of this bridge is 18 feet 3 inches. This bus is 10 foot 8, so we are safe to go across. There is no weight limit, therefore we can cross. I will be taking a right at the intersection. I will activate my right hand turn. Switch lanes, again, using your peripheral vision, finding your pivot point on the bus. I will use a hand over hand turn, staying away from your solid white line and your curve. Staying speed limit, 45 miles per hour. Now the speed limit is 55 miles per hour in a school bus with students. The maximum speed is 55 miles per hour. Okay, now we're gonna perform uh, a left-hand turn on a two-lane turn. Notice that I have proper space between me and the vehicle in front of me. I'm able to see their back tires from my seat. I will now perform a left-hand turn in a two-lane this will allow room for my tail swing. 
And as you can see, we are going to approach it. I am going to go under the lights or where there is normally trash in the middle of the road, about this point here. I will then begin turning hand over hand and I will make my turn completely. Again, the drawbridge, the height is 18.3 and there's no weight limit. section we are going to be taking a right hand turn so I will put my activate my right hand signal again being aware of the solid white line and the curve using my peripheral vision I will make a complete right hand turn staying away from the solid white line or the curve hand over hand both hands on the steering wheel limit is 35 miles per hour and again I'm entering a congested area I'll be looking one city block ahead or 12 to 15 seconds speed limit is 35 miles per hour I'm going at a safe speed I'm in the right hand lane, so I'm in the proper lane. Approaching the yield sign, we are going to go around a roundabout, yielding to get on. Looking to the left, no traffic, I will then get on to the roundabout. And when you are in a roundabout, you have the right of way. All the way around. Okay, we are approaching an intersection. And looking ahead, we have a drawbridge. And note that this drawbridge has a weight limit. 15 tons and 25 tons. This bus is 14 and a half tons, therefore I am safe to go over. The height of the bridge is 1411. My bus is 10 foot 8, therefore I'm safe to go under. And note that if the drawbridge arms were down, you have to stop 50 feet prior to the stop arm. Coming up to an intersection. Light was green. And notice that my phone is ringing, even though it's my wife. I do not answer that phone because you cannot drive and talk on a cell phone at the same time. It's a state law. If it's that important, you need to pull over and make that phone call or answer the phone. Do not answer the phone while driving a school bus. Have a student, have a coach, a teacher, or whoever's riding the bus, enter it for you if you need to.